interpret the mini SAS score by reading off the condition in the ecological category table given to you to distinguish whether it's unmodified, largely natural, or few modifications, moderately modified, largely modified, or seriously or critically modified. One, two, three. It's three, yeah. yeah. One plus 13. It's 16. And we've got four. It's 20. And six. It's 26. And nine. It's 34. And two. It's 36. That's good. So we add, we add them all together. Everything, the total is 36. And divide by the, the group, the number of them. Number of groups? Yeah, so mm -hmm. it's one, two. Okay, let's show, let's show oh, here. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. six. Mm -hmm. So 36 divided by six. Which is, which is equal to six. So it costs a six. Mm -hmm. So the total score is 36. 36. Number of group is six. Our average score is six. And then we come to the ecological category. And then under our sandy type, we find that is, it is under 5.8 and to 6.9, which indicates that it is in a good condition. That's good. You found the average score to be 6.2 and you worked in a sandy type. What would the ecological category or condition be with the same score in a rocky type? Uh, our average score was 6.2. In case if we have uh, worked in a rocky type, uh, this was going to be a fair condition. Because uh, 6.2 falls between 6.1 to 6.8. So tell me if the score was... 4.6 and you worked in a sandy type, what would the condition be? So if our average score is 4.2 and we have assessed a sandy type, it will be between 4.3 to 4.9, meaning our score will be in a poor condition. If our average score is 4.2 and we have assessed a sandy type area, our score will be beneath 4.3, meaning our condition will be very poor.